Good morning, everybody, and welcome to The Balancing Act. We are so glad you joined us this morning. I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Olga Villaverde. Today, medical advancements, especially when it comes to genome testing, which is helping to improve the outcomes for people who are battling cancer. That's right, and there is cutting-edge technology offering more accurate diagnosis, and these technologies are allowing doctors to match treatments with each patient's cancer. That's Lots really of cool. There, yes, and there's also amazing technologies behind your favorite <laughs> beauty product. Really? No, I, I actually heard that's right. There's a science to looking beautiful. Did you know that? There's a science and then some. <laughs> All the secrets are coming up on the balancing act, and we're starting that right now. <laughs> Stay with us. When you think about heart disease, you might think about it as a mostly male health issue, but that's just not true. And it's not just an older population issue anymore either. Heart disease is the leading cause of death in the U.S. and coronary heart disease costs over $100 billion a year. And here to talk about what we can do to help prevent heart disease is Dr. Francisco Velasquez and Patty Sipes from PAML. Welcome. Good morning. Such Good morning an here. important topic. Yes. And Dr., last time you were here, you spoke about empowering consumers when it comes to health care. Can you just remind um, our audience what you're doing? Sure. In addition to the clinical testing, we have a full line of consumer-oriented products that allows consumers to monitor their health. That is so important. And women are affected by heart disease more than we think. And the statistics are really alarming, doctor. They really are. If you think about it, it uh, causes about 400,000 deaths a year on just women alone particularly over the age of 40. That's about one person, one woman, every minute. That statistic is just staggering. I had no idea, and Patty, you have a history mm -hmm. of heart disease. Uh, tell us what happened to you. Yes, I do have a history of heart disease. My grandfather had his first heart attack at age 28. His son had his first and only heart attack when he was 50. He had jaw pain, thought he had to go to the dentist, and he died the next day. So my son was also born with a heart ailment, although they say it wasn't genetic. So I take it very seriously. And when I was about 32, won't say how old I am right now, <laughs> but when I was about 32, um, I did have a situation where I had some symptoms and I've been in the medical field for quite a long time. I said, gee, my arm feels like someone's grabbing it really hard. My breathing's off, I do feel confused, and I did have some pain in my jaw. I thought, okay, do something. So I waited a little while to see if it went away because I didn't want to waste anybody's time. I didn't want to go if I, they wouldn't tell me to do something. Oh, it's all in your head. So I waited and then I didn't have a set primary care physician at that time, so I said, oh, I'll just go to one of the places you can go without an appointment. Went in, described everything, they did nothing, and they said, oh, you're fine. And I said, well, what do I do? There's something going on. And they said, you need a good psychologist and we'll oh, recommend one for you. My so gosh. So I said, I do know what needs to be done and I do want an EKG. So I stood up for myself and they did it and there was a blip on the EKG that showed, wow, you should have some follow-up. Follow-up testing, I did get a primary care physician, so I did the right thing. Yes, you did. Went, had that relationship started and then we did follow up and um, much, much better. But um, I think that women really do have to take it seriously. They have to take their uh, empowerment as far as their health care is concerned and speak up. There's no problem with speaking up and asking questions. So, oh my gosh, that's an amazing story. I'm so glad you took action. Women take care of everyone and them, themselves last. We've got to stop that. All right, we are going to take a break, but when we come back, let's talk about some of the symptoms women experience when they're having a heart attack, so stay tuned. Joining me this morning are Dr. Francisco Velasquez and Patty Sipes from PAML. And doctor, when we think about the symptoms of heart attack, most of us envision the man, you know, clutching his chest, but that's not what it's like, especially for women, right? Well, that is correct. That is the typical picture we have of a somebody like me holding onto the chest uh, with severe chest pain. But we do know that between 20, 25% of women will present without pain. Actually, they may have pain totally unrelated to the chest. It may be pain in the abdomen, it may be 
pain in the back or even in their jaw, like Patty mentioned in her particular case, or no pain at all, and they may come in with uh, confusion, um, sweating, uh, with nausea and vomit, and sometimes they get this very cold sweat that is almost like a stress reaction. So the interesting thing is that women may take an aspirin thinking that mm, maybe I have something, but then they won't go to a doctor. And the last thing you should do is don't go to your doctor. Patty mentioned that one of the concerns was, what if they think I'm just wasting their time? Mm -hmm. Don't think like that. You should go and get checked. Absolutely. Minutes count. The first 90 minutes are critical. Well, what are some of the risk factors and do they affect women and men equally? So there are some that are more impactful in men than, and in, than in women or vice versa. But as a general rule, when you think about risk factors for heart disease, you have to think about cholesterol, particularly the bad cholesterol, the LDL as opposed to the HDL. You have uh, to think about uh, diet and nutrition, obesity, mm -hmm. uh, diabetes, and also genetics. Um, yeah, if you have a family history of heart disease, it is more likely that your risk will be higher. Oh, that's so important to know and think about. And Patty, tell me more about the cardiovascular disease testing that your company offers. Absolutely, at PAML, um, we are actually a national reference laboratory. So physicians can order the testing through PAML, and then we have our consumer site for consumers to go to so that they can monitor in between doctor visits, and that's called Cinch, and the website's go cinch.com. So there are two ways they could get testing. We try to make it pretty versatile. Um, most people, look at the LDL and the HDL. Mm. The LDL is the bad cholesterol, the HDL is the good. They always say H for healthy. So it's a good way to remember good the difference. Good way to remember. So um, with the LDL though, the studies have shown that the LDL is a number that everyone should know. So mm. that's something that uh, could be monitored regularly in between visits. Sometimes I look at it and say, okay, get this done and then I could take it the, to the doctor when I go in for my physical and sure. say, you're gonna do it anyway. I've done it, I've checked it. Here's what I've done proactively to keep my health going well. What else would you recommend? Am I doing the right thing? So there's many things that one can do to empower themselves with the testing. You can go further. There are many more tests for cardiovascular disease that are available today with very long complicated names. Some actually uh, help measure what you need to do for the HDL and some do other measurements to say what you do with the LDL. They even uh, measure the inflammation of your arteries wow. to determine how likely you might be to have an event occur. So with all of this, you can go to your physician and get that done. They range, um, if you go online to gocinch.com, from $50 to $150. It really depends on what you want to look for. So if you would like the a la carte services, per se, you could, you know, the bill could add up a little bit, but it's still going to be much less than if you went the traditional route. Oh, that's such great information that we all can take away and actually control our health and look at it and help mm -hmm. our doctors. Thank you mm -hmm. so much for joining us this morning. And doctor, I understand you're coming back to talk about cancer screening, so important as well. Thank you both, and um, Thank you. we'll see you next time. And for more information about ordering cardiovascular and other diagnostic testing online, there is a link at the thebalancingact.com. We all want to look and feel our best, and let's face it, ladies, there are lots of products on the market that make all kinds of promises but don't have the science to back them up. Today, there are cutting-edge ingredients like UV filters, emollients, emulsifiers, polymers that really make the difference if you know what you're looking for. And here to take us inside the world of beauty and beyond is the North American Marketing Manager for BASF, Heather Bognovich, and welcome, Heather. We're so happy to have you here today. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. The advances being made today in the industry are remarkable, thanks in no small part to BASF. And tell us how you're inspiring the market. So BASF is the world's largest chemical company and the leading ingredient supplier of personal care and cosmetic ingredients. Wow. So at BASF, we're really inspired by life. And what that means is we realize that the true consumer needs cannot be found in a laboratory. Mm. We go out into the world and we really look for the drivers behind consumer behavior, what consumers want, what they need, what they really desire. And we translate those needs into um, innovative ingredients and personal care products. So under the Care Creations brand, we combine two of our key strengths, which is market understanding and science excellence. And by doing that, we make sure that the products not only perform an application, which mm. is the technical part, sure. 
but also in real life. That's so important. And women multitask all the time. We're, we're great at it. But we really want our beauty products to multitask too, right? Absolutely. So no matter your age or your lifestyle, um, people really are busy. So convenience is really a big trend these days. And women not only want their products to multitask, but they want them to be tailor-made specific for their needs. Mm. People are really demanding a lot more from their beauty and personal care products these days. And they're really uh, wanting more value. And when I say value, it's not just necessarily in terms of price, but they want their products to perform and they want to see results now. Absolutely. And talk about some of the materials, the ingredients you're using to improve you know, everything in our cosmetics. Sure, well you mentioned some already. Uh, we have emollients that we provide. That actually helps the product glide on the skin and uh, ensure even application, and also gives it that velvety or silky or soft feel. We also provide active ingredients, which can help reduce wrinkles or help even skin tone. We also have effect pigments, which are different than traditional colorants or dyes. They actually can provide color correction benefits or provide that radiance or that brightening that women look for. You know, I lived and worked in Hollywood and still do for years, and I know that celebs are always looking for the latest innovations, but really just real women are too. And, and tell me about some that you have. Absolutely. Like I mentioned, it doesn't matter your age, where you came from, where you're going. Women just want to look and feel their best. So I'm going to give you some tips. Okay. The first thing you really, really need to know, it's of utmost importance, is make sure you don't leave the house in the morning without putting on your sunscreen. Oh, yeah. It doesn't have to be in the form of a traditional sunscreen. It could be in your daily moisturizer. But the important part that you need to remember is it needs to be SPF 15 and it needs to have broad spectrum protection. Okay. And then one other cool trick that I'm going to show you um, is I'm going to take one of those key multitasking products. Right here I have a CC cream. We're okay. all hearing about these yes. alphabet creams, yes. these BBs, these CCs, BBs, these CCs. Yep. So right here I have a CC cream. And um, the CC cream that I have has a few different active ingredients in there that I was mentioning before. One in particular can provide um, evening of the skin tone. Mm. But that happens to work over time. So we added some effect pigments into this product, which work immediately. So you can see, once I rub it into my skin here, get a nice, even, good coverage. Wow. You can see the difference. That's, a, that's amazing. That's yeah. right off the bat, And too. it's right off the bat, and it'll last. It'll last uh, as long as you need to to get yourself through the day, and then while the active is working at the same time. That's what we want, multitasking. Exactly. BASF is a global leader in chemistry, and there really is science to beauty. Without giving away any trade secrets, what's on the horizon? Well, at BASF, two of our core values are innovation and sustainability. And of course, we're going to continuously innovate to provide our customers, who are the beauty brands, and consumers with the latest innovations to try to keep up with those trends. Sure. But in addition, at BASF, we create chemistry for a sustainable future. So we're constantly bringing together science and innovation in order to enable our customers to be able to meet the current and future needs of society in terms of product performance, environmental protection, and social responsibility. So important. Such great information. Thank you so much, Heather, for stopping by. Thank you so much. All right, and if you'd like additional information about beauty and cosmetics, visit us at thebalancingact.com or log on and share with us any of your beauty issues or questions at Facebook forward slash The Balancing Act fans. Well, dieting and losing weight does not need to be exhausting. It can be simple and enjoyable, and best of all, a lifelong solution to vibrant health. And here to talk to us today about how you can make losing weight faster and easier is Isabel De Los Rios from BeyondDiet.com. It's so great to have you here this morning. Good morning, thank you. You know, people's perception of weight loss is starvation and hunger and torture, but what's your approach? 
Our approach in Beyond Diet is one that's completely different. So in my experience as a nutritionist, working with hundreds and hundreds of clients, I found that the ones that were the most successful were the ones that implemented simple lifestyle strategies. So they were the ones that were able to keep the weight off. So inside Beyond Diet, we give our members easy meal plans to follow, simple recipes, and just the tools to implement these changes into their lives. And what do you think makes your website so different from the others? It's really the community support that makes all the difference. So the biggest hurdle that people experience when they're trying to lose weight is they go out into the world and they feel like they have everything working against mm. them, that people are working against them and there's all these different foods and restaurants on every corner. So you come into the community and you have the support that you need. Just 350,000 people there to cheer you on, encourage you, and just really give you the support. So your online community is a big factor in your success. Just huge, huge. And even though we've grown to such a large number, there's still that family feel inside the community. And people tell, this, tell us that all the time. You know, if I'm struggling and I have a question, I just come right into the community and ask my question. And there's always someone there that has experienced the same challenge, whether you're a working mom or a busy father or a grandparent, there's someone there that may have experienced that same challenge and can help you, give you tips, give you some strategies, and it's really everyone's favorite part about Beyond Diet. Isabel, thank you so much for coming by. I've been online, I've checked this out, very cool website. Thank you. Well, for more information on Beyond Diet, visit the website beyonddiet.com. Balancing your act is a full-time job. It helps to have a support group. Join our social community by visiting facebook.com slash the balancing act fans. Get in on the conversation. So much good information on today's show. Be sure to check out our website, thebalancingact.com as well. There's lots there for you. And don't forget about Facebook and Twitter. Look us up there. And we hope to see you again very soon. And remember to always find your balance. So long, everybody.